Weekly, Garage Band, Garage Band Weekly, Garage Band, Garage Band Weekly. Ooh. Need an answer to your question? John, do you have a suggestion? Seems a fountain of all knowledge. I think he might have gone to Garage Band College. But he doesn't know we'll try and find out. So join the chat and give him a shout. John. Garage Band Weekly. Oh, hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Garage Band Weekly, Garage Band Weekly, whatever you want to call it. We're going to have a bit of fun today. It's a relaxed, casual, we're on the wrong day, we're at the wrong time. Uh, who cares? We're just going to see if the stream will stay up for more than half an hour today. We've had a few challenges technology-wise lately, but we'll just go with the flow because what other choice do we have, hey? Uh, today we are going to continue recording uh, a song in GarageBand. Uh, so we're going to fire up GarageBand in probably about five minutes' time and uh, get started with that. But I just wanted to uh, jump in, say g'day, and make sure that uh, everything is functional before we do that. So uh, thank you again for everyone's patience. I'll, I'll talk through a little bit of the shenanigans that have been going on because there's a couple of tales of warning uh, and maybe things that you want to think about here. For all you folks, because I had uh, issues last week with my Mac and I had issues this week with my internet and whilst neither of them were technically my fault there are a few things that I'm going to do differently and after all that's all we can do right when you have failures all you can do is try and do things differently the next time around like what what, what else are you going to do Anyway, uh, welcome on in here. Uh, yes, this is Garage Band Weekly. And uh, if you would like to find out all the ways that you can get all the information and all the things about Garage Band, you can head on over to this place here. That's my Garage Band FAQ, baby. Yeah, you can check out all the Garage Band and some Logic Pro for iPad stuff as well. Uh, my new Garage Band 5 Minutes Tip series, where are nearly 40 videos in, and they're all only five minutes. So I can't do the maths on that, but that's only a couple of hours, and you'll get like 40 videos of chunks worth of information there. You can check out the GarageBand iOS Essentials for some more long form tutorials. Jump on over to the GarageBand users Facebook group, the Create, Record, Release group, and all your answers are here. So I was trying to work out some things today. I was like, what about keyboard shortcuts? Uh, do I have those in here? Yeah, look at that. Keyboard note labels and virtual keyboard. I need to add keyboard shortcuts. So every week I'm learning new things and I'm adding and upgrading and adding to this as well. So if you would like all of my information, it's my digital brain because my uh, flesh brain is a little bit challenging uh, these days because 45 years old people, I'm nearly halfway there. <laughs> We hope we cross our fingers and our toes. Let's say good day to the fine folks who are here live. We've got our wonderful moderator, Thomas Christ, here. Good day to Sylvie Drapeau. Uh, hello to Mark Bro. Uh, see, Mark Bro is Sylvie Drapeau. Drapeau. Um, and they both speak French, which is pretty cool. Yeah, how good are the Beach Boys? Uh, my wife bought me this Beach Boys shirt and I'm living in it because it's comfy and it's a bit different. I wear a lot of black and I felt like being a bit bright today. So uh, we're rocking the Beach Boys look. Uh, I think I saw our wonderful friend Brad example. Yeah, there he is. G'day, Brad. In Canada, hope you are doing well. Canadians just dominate, don't they? There's always so many Canadians in these streams. It's very, very cool. I dig it. All right, let's um, let's let's tell you a bit of the tales of woe, just as a bit of a, a warning, not warning, but I guess learn from my mistakes. Don't make my mistakes, learn from them. So last week, if you watched the show, you saw that we had some pretty uh, fatal errors and uh, freezes and things going on here, and that was all due to iCloud Drive. So I've been a big proponent of iCloud Drive and you're like, Johns, you tell us to use iCloud Drive. You say that you should always use iCloud Drive because it backs up your stuff, yeah? Well, it does. But here's the problem I was having. My little Mac Mini with its 256 gigabytes of storage kept trying to download more and more iCloud Drive stuff. Now, technically, the setting that I had set is supposed to manage your storage for you. So what it'll do is it'll try and download files so that they're on your desktop, so that they're right there on your hard drive, so that you don't have to download them every time you use them. And it's like handy, right? So it keeps your iCloud drive managed for you. It syncs your files on your Mac to your iCloud drive. Everyone's happy, right? Right? 
not right because what was actually happening is every time I would delete something, so I would delete some physical stuff from my hard drive, iCloud Drive jumped straight on it and immediately refilled that entire space, leaving me zero space to store anything else. So what did I have to do? I had to go into my settings and I had to disable that feature and then it kept happening. So I had to completely disable iCloud Drive entirely. So now my Mac, my Mac Mini is completely independent. It's not running any iCloud Drive syncing whatsoever. And it's running like it did on day one. So just goes to show that sometimes these settings that are designed to save us from ourselves and to back things up automatically, yeah, they're not going to work all the time, and especially when you've got a smaller drive. And here's the problem. I've got four terabytes of iCloud drive storage, including some very large files. And it just kept thinking I needed these files desperately, and it kept trying to bring them onto my hard drive. And no matter how much I said to stop, it didn't stop. It just kept downloading them and filling it up. You'd think there'd be a buffer. You'd think there'd be a setting there that would say, please keep at least 20 gigabytes free for my files. But no, it's just manage it or don't. So sorry, Apple, but don't. I've turned off all iCloud Drive related things. I've got 50 gigabytes free on my 256 gig drive and it's 100% cool, he says. And then it will just be like, <laughs> I'll tempt fate. Oh dear. So that's the thing. Yes, it was that iCloud thing, but there was obviously something going on with it. Either my iCloud Drive is a unusual use case and I've got too many large files in there and it didn't, it got confused, but there was obviously some other thing because it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to manage it and keep space there. But yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is trouble. And look, I've had the same problems on my phones and on my iPads before. As good as iCloud Drive is, it doesn't work like other things do. Like you should just be able to point it to your files and say, back up these ones and don't touch anything else. And that's kind of the way I have to deal with it now. So it just means that when I create files on my Mac that I do want to back up, I just have to be more conscious to make sure that I save a backup to Dropbox or Google Drive or OneDrive or iCloud Drive or somewhere that's not just on my Mac. So there you go. Lesson learned on that one. The second thing uh, that we had recently was the internet. Uh, and I'm actually going to upgrade my internet to a 4G uh, backup. So you can get uh, through, through different ISPs, not mine, but I've been meaning to leave my internet service provider for a while. You can actually here in Australia and you can probably do it in other parts of the world, get a backup system. My dad has it and it's fabulous because when your fiber goes down, which it does here like about once every week, it seems it did yesterday, right? Right in the middle of the happy hour. It could not have been timed worse. So when your fiber goes down, it just flicks over to the wireless connection, which is your 4G, just like your phones use. So I'll be switching to that so that those interruptions will only be minor while it clicks over and then we'll be able to continue on. I didn't want to go with it because it's not ideal, but the difference between having like a slower connection and still being able to have, you know, this working is better than nothing. I would say. Uh, hello to The Secret Legacy, OneDrive, Google Drive, iCard Drive, Box, Dropbox, Mega. There's so many different places. Uh, yeah, documents is also a problem. Yeah, keep, keep it out. I, I had nothing in my documents. So that's why I could easily just switch it off because everything is stored in iCloud Drive, but nothing's in my documents folder on my Mac. I don't even store my Mac GarageBand projects on my Mac. I store them directly in iCloud Drive uh, because you can still use those as storage location. It just won't do the sort of syncing, backing up kind of thing. So hopefully... Hopefully, I've learned a few things about Mac storage and not to trust Apple's downloading and uploading thing. And I've learned that uh, I just need to give myself a contingency plan for internet and having that 4G backup. Because you can still, like I could tether to my phone and I tried to do that, but on the fly, it was really clunky to do and it wasn't working. Because if you've used personal hotspot, that's also a bit of a challenge. It doesn't always work exactly as you would plan for it too. So that's, that's the rant. So no news and notes today, just a rant and a, a warning about what I've been through and what you can hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed for you, avoid yourself in, uh, in the future. All right, I'm just going to make sure I've got everything running here. Uh, I'm just going to uh, take a quick break and then we are going to get ourselves started and good to go. So you may be seeing a little ad there because I wanted to get that out of the way. And uh, we're doing nothing except for doing a quick test here and bringing up this. 
and saying hello to la musica e mi vida. That means music is my life. Is that right? It's my, how's, my, how's my Spanish? <laughs> I like it. And hello to uh, Muzak Man 57, Garage Peeps. Yes, Garage Peeps are in the house as well as some folks who aren't into the Garage Band as much. So what are we doing here today? Well, again, it's going to be a different sort of show. If you don't like these kind of over-the-shoulder, behind-the-scenes kind of things, this show might not be for you. We're going to take it pretty casual, we're going to take it pretty easy, and we're just going to work on this song. And I don't know what direction we're going with it, because over the last couple of weeks, we've written some little guitar melodies in here, which I'll play for you in a moment. We've written a few little uh, vocal melody ideas here. I've got an idea now of the structure of the song, which you can see up the top here. I've actually chunked these drums into the different verse chorus verse chorus structures and uh, we're, we're now ready to start writing some lyrics and start workshopping what this song is actually going to sound like because the number one thing I want to do with this is to get some vocals recorded I got my vocal bow oh, I got my vocal mic here ready to go things are just I was saying to my wife the other day I've got the yips at the moment you know that thing where everything you do you kind of just do something slightly wrong and uh, yeah I just went to pull this off and nearly pulled down uh, the wrong cable and uh, pull my speaker off the desk. So, yeah, stuff happens. It's cool. Uh, Secret Legacy says I found OneDrive is the biggest storage Gmail, Google Drive. Yeah, that's the thing I've paid for. I, I pay... Um, I pay a lot extra, so I've actually got the Apple Plus thing for my uh, iCloud drive, and I also pay for an extra two terabytes. So, uh, yeah, uh, if, and, and I'm probably going to need to upgrade my Google at some stage because I store a lot of my studio life today, work type files over there as well. So you can be involved, you can join in, you can throw comments at me, we can pause for questions if anyone has any questions or comments you want to ask. Like I say, it's going to be a different sort of show today, we're a different time, different day, we're just going to be creating and uh, you're going to be watching over my shoulder while I do it. So since we've last got together, like I said, I've started experimenting with a few things. So number one is I've used this, uh, this drum track so that I can split it out. Because GarageBand sections are a little clunky and a little hard to use and you can't name them, thanks Apple, uh, I've decided to just use this uh, top track here, this um, track to, as our section. So I've got all of the sections set there and I've started, this is an idea I got from someone, I can't remember who, sorry, it's uncredited, but I've started actually just putting in this piano track, I've started splitting it and putting the chords here. So I thought that might be a fun thing to do. We might do a little bit more of that. <laughs> and by fun, I mean useful because probably not going to be that much fun. I'm sorry. But you might learn. You might try this out yourself because it could be handy or it could be a giant waste of time. We'll find that out. Let's listen to this track. Oh, by the way, this is a song by David Asher. He did the instrumental for this. And David was kind enough. He had a bunch of instrumentals and he just put it out there to the, the general crowd and said, anyone want to work on one of these songs? And I said... Yeah, I do. And I heard this one and it kind of struck me as a cool tune and I thought we would work on it here on the show. So here is the uh, the, the intro, the lead-in part of the song. Uh, let's just do a quick sound check on this one. Make sure it's all sounding good. Nice riser. These are the little uh, chanty vocals that I added in last time. that may or may not make it to the final mix. But I kind of like it. Just turn those off for a sec. I like this little hold bit here. So that's where our um, first verse is going to kick in here. And again, I've split this out here. So last time around, uh, we, we wrote this little melody line for the verses. So uh, let's just listen back to this and see if this is still capturing uh, my imagination. Do, 
So I, I'm kind of thinking maybe there's a few too many do's in there. But what I want to do is let's see if we can workshop some ideas for this first verse. Um, because I want this to be, here's kind of what I'm thinking with the song. It's called Crow's Whisper. And I'm thinking it's like, it needs to be a bit of a brooding kind of thing. Like, a um, because it is, as, as Costa's saying here, it's a dramatic kind of thing. It needs to be, when you think you've got it all so stout, you don't know what. Like, sort of like a big self-doubt kind of thing. Like, that's just the vague thing I got in my head. Like, Crow's Whisper, I'm just thinking whispering of doubts in your head. Um, which, you know, many of you probably have. I have them right now. I'm like, well, why am I here? Why am I live streaming the songwriting process? This is such an intimate and exposing of, ah. No. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to harness that and use that. So uh, let's just bring up. <clears throat> so we'll play through that part. But what I have is in the background here, I have my handy dandy notebook. Any, uh, anyone watch Dora the Explorer? Anyone young enough or have kids old enough for Dora? Uh, notebook. My handy dandy notebook. Or you know what I was thinking about? Any Inspector Gadget fans? Remember Penny? How she had a computer that was her notebook? And I'm like, man, this was like the first notebook computer. She was like before her time, right? Yeah, it's very Bond theme, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> hello, Conan Drum Band. Yeah, thank you. I know, I, I feel guilty. Like, I'm hoping that I'm telling people the right stuff and that there's not just an army of people making the same friggin' mistakes that I've been making for the last uh, close to a decade. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, and as Sylvie says here, uh, I, I used to like these sort of videos too because I kind of like to absorb. Sometimes you just want to get in and get those quick, tips and ideas, which is why I do the short videos, but sometimes you just want to sit back and see what you absorb over a period of time. So here is uh, the the chunks. So we're here at the uh, the verse. So the intro is that sort of ooh-ah that we did there. We've got this verse. We've got 18 bars of this verse from bar 24 to 42, and it uses a very similar sort of chord progression to the lead in. And it's a really interesting progression, as you can see there. C minor to C sharp to C minor to A sharp to C sharp major, uh, down to C major, then to A sharp, G sharp, and then finishing on that G, which gives it that uh, That's what it gives it so much tension. It kind of is a walking up and down across tones, but there's a few semitone steps there. There's some major minor switches, like using the C minor the first two times and then the C. Like It's really cool because I wouldn't write a chord progression like that, but David has, and that's made it, uh, made it cool. Because again, this is what collaboration is all about, doing things outside of your norm and outside of your comfort zone. So uh, let's write ourselves a verse one. <laughs> Nothing like a blank piece of paper. So let's just uh, listen to this together. If you've got, remembering that we want to go with that sort of self-doubt. So just when you think it is all worked out, something like that. What do you think? Let's let's play this and I'll, we'll sing along. Uh, just when you think it is all sussed out. Just when you think you have it all sussed out. What do you reckon? It's a bit of a weird, you have it all sussed out. You don't try again. Is that too, is that too negative? What do you reckon? Let's, um, let's switch back and, uh, and give it a, a try. When did you think you have it all sussed out? You don't try again. Yeah, I don't have a lot of words there. What do you reckon? Keep it simple there. Hmm. Let's uh, let's record it in and see. Let's go back over to here and see if it works. Because maybe the first verse here we do use a more basic sort of structure. Let's go. Just when you think there's space in your Apple cloud. Figured out. Yeah, figured out. Conan Drum Band said, just when you think you have it figured out. I kind of like that better. Figured out. You don't try again. <laughs> I don't know. It just, uh, that kind of makes me laugh. Yeah. Sussed out. Sussed out. Um, I'm just going to put, I'll, I'll put sussed out in 
but fig- I kind of like figured. I think Conan's got it. Uh, I think figured out. Um, let's uh, duplicate this out. And we'll mute the first one and we'll just uh, grab our microphone now. Uh, I'm using, as I always do, my Steinberg UR22C. So we've got this all set up and we're going to plug in to input number one. As you can see, I'm plugging it and it's clicking it. Oh. Oh, these XLR ports. Like I like a good solid XLR port that doesn't sort of, that does have a little bit of push, but um. Yeah, bah, bah, bah. All right, so that's coming through there. We will open it up and turn on our monitoring. Check, bah, bah, bah. And we'll just go back a little bit <clears throat> and let's um record this. Just when you think you have it figured out, you don't. Try again. What do you reckon? Oh. What do you reckon? Uh, let's just listen back to it. Just when you think you have it figured out, you don't try again. Okay, well, let's let's see where we go to from there. I, I don't mind it. Again, we're workshopping here. Uh, and I don't mind those um, lesser words there because, again, we can vary it up in the second verse by having some more. Let's turn that monitoring off. We can vary it up in the second verse by having some more words to, to kind of change it up. So maybe your first verse is very simple and we can add some oohs and ahs la, 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 in the background there. All right. Uh, yeah, and uh, look, that's what I'll do. I'm, I'm, I leave in ideas in case I want to switch them and change them around. Don't delete stuff. Leave your other ideas there, and then you can always come back and change it up. Uh, so we're saying just when you think you got it all sussed out, you don't try again. Um, so whispering doubt. Oh, this is where I think whispering doubt. Whispering doubt is your only friend. <laughs> oh, that's vicious. <laughs> Um, something like that. If you don't succeed skydiving, yeah. If at first you don't succeed skydiving, ain't for you. That's why. That's why I love doing this stuff, Mark. It's that it's zero stakes. <laughs> zero stakes. Whispering doubt is your only friend. And then we need like some. So just when you think you have it figured out, you don't try again. Whispering doubt is your only friend. You. Maybe we. Your only friend. Is is your is your doubt? So, what's another word for like doubt or something? Is your only friend? Is your fear? <laughs> this is getting dark. <laughs> trying to understand, right? To, trying to understand. Oh, I don't mind that, Brad. I'm going to put that down here. Trying to understand right up till the very end. Yeah, so if I could... Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going to experiment with both of these because I like that idea. Dark is in right. I know, right? Oh, has anyone heard the new um, 21 Pilots? Stop watching this right now and go watch the new um, 21. I would listen to the whole album, actually, Clancy by 21 Pilots. Uh, their new track, the latest single called uh, Next Semester. Man, it's so freaking cool. It is just the best song. And it's dark again. Um, da- hey, kid, get out of the road. Um, yeah, go and listen to it. Maybe don't. Uh, maybe don't do it right now. You can do it after. I'll, I'll let you know when we're done. <laughs> dark is always cool. This, this kind of has a brooding darkness to it, doesn't it, this uh, this track? And it's almost like got flamenco. I wonder if I can get away with like a flamenco guitar intro and then really dark lyrics. All right, let's try this, show. Let's jump back over and uh, hit record. So there's our first little bit. And um, we'll grab our mic, turn the monitor back on. Hello. Uh, let's sing this. Whispering doubt is your only friend Your only friend 
is your fear till the end. Maybe it could be like right, right to the end. Let's try that again. Uh, right to the bitter end? Yeah. Whispering doubt is your only friend. Your only friend is your fear. Right to the end. That's not bad. That's not bad. So your only friend is your fear right to the end. Let's hear it all back together and see if it makes sense. All right, let's hear it from the intro part here. Just when you think you have it figured out, you don't try again. Whispering doubt is your only friend. Your only friend is your fear right to the end. What do we think? All right, for uh, like, what is, okay for folk music? <laughs> Sorry, someone said that to me once. They just, yeah, uh, right to the rend. I do, I do like the bitter end. Um, very, I'm just putting extra extra notes here because again you don't have to set anything in stone when you're writing a song you can just like this is just filling out the gaps and then we can adjust it as we go along good start all right should we uh should we write um what's the chorus what's the hook gonna be here let's listen back to my um my attempted vocals here and uh see if we can if some inspiration will hit me do -do -do. Yeah, wrong note there, by the way. <laughs> Don't stress about that. So is this going to be the juxtaposition? Is this going to be um, uh, like the answer to that? And then the second verse is going to be dark and then the final chorus is going to be the, the triumphant? Yeah? Or do we just go extra dark and then they just like fade out and die in a gutter at the end? <laughs> <laughs> no, I always like to. I always like some contrast here. So we've got just when you think you've got it figured out, you don't try again. Whispering doubt is your only friend. Your only friend is your fear. Right to the end. Um, yeah. Um, conf confusion. It rains. I don't know why. That's just in my head. Confusion. It rains. Yeah, it's a bit of a Joe and Barry Glenn special, isn't it? Let's just listen to this again. Confusion, it rains no matter what you do. You, you, you're losing control of your mind. <laughs> it's going dark again. <laughs> Control of your mind. Um, defenses are low. Uh, something is blowed. <laughs> I'll just listen to this again uh, from here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What you do, do you're do, losing do, do, control do, do, of do, your do, do, mind. This is where I think we need to go a bit positive. But the end is merely another start, another beginning, a chance to start a new chance. But the end is... I like all that. I'm putting all that in here, Tom. <laughs> to start a new... Yeah, I think that's where... Um, maybe this is where it goes. Confusion, it rains, you're going insane. And I like that too. 
Confusion it rains. Confucius say. Confusion it rains. Yeah. You're going insane. <laughs> Hello, Willy Pro. And when you think everything is against you. Yeah, I like that too. I'm going to struggle to put all the um, songwriting credits on this one for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> synapse is slow. Ooh, synapse is slow. All right, let's go back over to here. So confusion, it brains, no matter what you do, you're losing control of your mind. The end. But the end is... Uh, but the end is... Uh, I'm going to use Thomas's sort of concept here and just smoosh it around a bit. But the end is another start, another be another beginning. No, we need a two-syllable word. But the end is another start, beginning a new. There's that a new beginning a new. So don't give up, cause everything's good. Confusion it rains no matter what you do, you're losing control of your mind. But the end is a yeah. But the end is another start beginning anew. I'm just going to listen to it so I can hear the melodies again here. Let's see do, 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 do. No matter what you do, you're losing control of your mind. The end is another start. Beginning anew. Da, 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 you. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know that it's all up to you. It's that's not good, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, I know it, it is. It's it's a, it's interesting. It's really like because I normally write there. Let's be honest. Very basic, folky progressions, usually in G major. <laughs> so this is a very different, it's, it's stretching a different, the sun will surely rise again. I like that too. Mark, let's see. Sun will surely rise again. Well, we got some, we got some good juicy goodness here. All right, should we, should we try and do, let's try and sing it all the way through from verse, first verse over here. By the way, if you're buying an iPad, 12.9 inch. I know I used to have an 11 inch and I liked my 11 inch, but this is really handy having access to your controls down here, but also a few of the tracks up here to see what's going on. It just makes life uh, a heck of a lot easier in my humble opinion. So let's delete these because we don't need them and we will record, mute that one out. Let's just record in a quick, see you Costa, hope you're having a good one. Uh, don't give up because everything's fucked. Yeah, that could be good. <laughs> Maybe that could be like the final chorus code. Uh, don't give up because everything's... Anyway. All right. Oh, 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 we're good. All right, let's let's uh, let's record in a quick take of this one, shall we? Just when you think... Oh, I've got the completely wrong right from the start. Oh, see, I've now I've forgotten how I did it the first time around. I'm going to have to undo the deletion I just did. <laughs> Let's listen back to that real quick. Just when you think you have it figured out. All right. I'm going to keep that original. I know you can't see this screen at the moment, but uh, I'm going to keep that. Here's another thing. you got plenty of tracks to play with. Don't delete stuff because you'll forget how it goes. At least I will. Just when you think you have it figured out You don't try again Whispering doubt is your only friend Your only friend is your fear Right till the end Confused 
confusion it brings no matter what you do you're losing control of your mind and is another start beginning anew you know that it's all up to you to rise again <sighs> we just put the patented john's positive spin on there by accident cuz i took the sort of sun will surely rise again and i've just put to rise again this song could be called rise again yeah, I mean, it's Crow's Whisper, but we kind of got the whispering doubt in there. But how, rise again. See, we've just taken darkness and we've turned it into something else. <laughs> it could be Great Ass Man too. It's the serious, more like uh, uh, complenta- contemplative. Yeah, uh, exactly. Not necessary, but definitely quality of life. Uh, what do we reckon? Are we, are, we on the, are we on the right track here? Or are we way off? Let me know. Let's um come here. Come here a minute. Let's have a listen to this uh, in its place. Just when you think you have it figured out, you don't try again. Whispering doubt is your only friend, your only friend is your fear right till the You know that it's all up to you to rise again. So at this point, it really it kicks straight back into the second verse. Uh, there, so to rise again. To you, to rise again. Do we do a crossover? Do we start singing? Because the to rise again, and we do the second verse. I don't often do crossovers because I like to write songs that I can sing myself <laughs> when I do it acoustically, but this is something very differently. All right. Uh, okay. The little Phantom of the Opera. Let's um let's switch gears for a minute before we write the second verse and come back because we got some guitar ideas in here originally, didn't we? We had a little we had a little a little ditty of a guitar idea, which was this one here. This kind of changes up the vibe a little bit. I'm going to record it. So something like that, but not quite like that. So I just felt like playing a little guitar for a moment. This is what this show is going to be like. We're probably going to be here a while today, just so you know. Settle in, make yourself comfortable, grab a cuppa. Uh, all right, so we've got guitar set up here. 
which is uh, vaguely in tune from yesterday. See if we can uh, play this in. <laughs> Apparently not. I'm just going to turn the volume up a little bit while I play this guitar part because I can hear it a bit better. And that might work all right with um, with those oohs and ahs we did last time. So open it. Just cut that front bit off. I think they just need to be very basic uh, oohs and ahs here. Let's see if we can replace these oohs and ahs with something a little more basic. Because if we've got the guitar doing its heavy lifting, we don't need quite as much there. We'll duplicate these and redo them. Ba 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 ba. So I got this one, which I think was doing the high. Oops. All right, it just needs to do basic stuff. Uh, all right, let's come here. We'll turn this up a little bit ba, ba, so we can hear it. do better with that when we get a little bit uh, further along. Now this one's doing... <laughs> We're kind of doing fifths here, aren't we?
changed it up a little bit there at the end because I didn't really want to go really low with that last one. Turn this monitor back off. All right. So I think we can safely get rid of those two original ones because they were doing too much up and downy. We'll delete that. We'll delete that. What haven't I done for a while, folks? Save it, Johns. Save it. Do your own thing. Yeah. All right. Do, 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 do. Replicate. So we're up to version five now. So we'll make some more changes here, but we know that we've got version four safely tucked away there. And uh, we'll continue on here on version five. All right. Let's start naming some things as well. So we'll rename this to, uh, this can be Vox, Vox BG, and we'll just say left. We'll put these on the left for now. And this one can be uh, oop, Vox BG. All right. And then this one's going to be my lead Vox. It says lead vocals there anyway, but I'll just use my own naming convention, Vox Lead. All right, we'll do a quick save and unsave. Da -da 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 -da. Oh man, I'm, are you testing me on my French? Um, see, I started doing French on Duolingo, but we're going to uh, Italy next year, so I've switched over to Italian. So my French is uh, super rusty, and it was never that good either. Talking about like Sesame Street and romper room and stuff to learn English. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, hello, Mix Club. Yeah, so we've, we've switched things around for this week. Uh, reason being, for those that, that care, my uh, child went to camp today and my wife was uh, doing other things. And that's the beauty of running your own shop. You can just change things around. And who knows, maybe tomorrow will work better for YML. We don't know, man. It's worth a crack. So, uh, yeah, your music live tomorrow at the usual time, except... Daylight saving, so an hour later. All right, let's um let's do a little quick pan on these suckers. So we'll jump in here to our mixer icon. We'll pan that to the left because I always like to have a couple of backing vocals doing some oohs and ahs pan left and right. Let's just listen to these in isolation to make sure I'm hitting vaguely the right notes. And we'll just trim trim the front of them here. Pop and pop. Take a quick listen. Uh... do a, uh, a, a, a um, acoustic remix of this quite well. So now we can now start working on the second verse. Uh, e, e flat minor to, to scale for harmony, flat scale plus the seventh chord, E3. Uh, yeah, my, my, my theory is pretty low uh, in terms of my theory knowledge. I'll probably maybe do that, but <laughs> I won't know that I'm doing that. I, I know the basics of theory and chords, but uh, not a whole lot. But welcome aboard and uh, thanks for the feedback, totally. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, look, I'm, I'm, I admit that. Like, I'm not going to try and work through and go, I, I know all the chords and all the things, because I really don't. 
um, yeah, and true. Uh, that, that's the thing. I can add. I'm adding the vocals, and uh, I can I can change up some things with within reason, and in terms of adding extra chords and notes with um with my own vocals, and maybe that little guitar bit. Uh, right. So should we do uh, a lower registry voice? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we can definitely in, in the chorus there. I'm definitely hearing a harmony track. Falls falls shores. Should we, should we go back and write some more lyrics? <clears throat> so, <laughs> we have, just when you think you have it figured out, you don't try again. Whispering doubt is your only friend. Your only friend is the fear. Right to the end. Confusion is brain. Confusing? Confusing. Confusion is brain. No matter what you do, losing control of your mind. The end is another start, beginning anew. You know that it's all up to you to rise again. Da, 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 da. Uh, so that it's back to the uh, verse structure, which is does her do think? So well, a, a similar sort of thing to, to that in terms of the timing. Just when you think you have it figured out. So life, I'm just thinking life. Life is a journey we all we all do something to. What do we do? What do we do to life? We all must must we all endure? Endure? Huh? Come on, life. You do you endure life? We all endure. No, that's not the word, is it? Life is a journey we all must face. Um and this is where we can use a few more words in there. Like the last one was, you don't try again. Life is a journey we all must face. It can be hard. It can be long. <laughs> um, trying to find... Trying to, what is it where you cut your way through? Trying to navigate. No, not navigate. Trying to push through. Bum, 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 bum. Now I don't know that I can put, it can be hard, it can be <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm going to leave it there for now. We're going to find it. <laughs> We're going to just see how we go. And when you have friends, it, yeah, try. Life is a journey we all must face. The mirror will not replace the reality of where I am in this. Well, that, that's good stuff. Let's see if we can. Life is a journey we all must face. The mirror. Face the. Yeah, the mirror. Maybe we'll do that one. The mirror will not. The mirror. Is not our reality. Mm, mm, mm. I'm working it, working it. Something, something, your own pace. Yeah, something, something, something. Maybe, baby. Oh, uh, this is why I do shows that are about an hour long because we get to this point. Let's get some placeholders in here that don't have long and hard in them. Life is a journey we all... I like the mirror and the reality um, concept, Brad. Life is a journey we all must face. You can't replace. We can't replace something with car. Uh, truth, like actual with lies. We can't replace... Something with truth can't replace. What, what am I trying to say here? Life is a journey we almost face. We can't replace fiction with fa fiction with fact. Something with lies, but truth like 
uh, all of the lies. <laughs> the mirror was not a reality. The mirror is not a reality. Perspectives change. <laughs> Oh, it's not the same as you can see. Ah! Do we cheat and just um go with the chorus and copy paste it <laughs> with the second chorus? That may be the worst um worst verse of lyrics I've written ever, but. You know what you have to do? Sometimes you just have to push through and you'll sing it and then other things will come. The truth with the lies. Yeah, the truth. You can't replace it. That's what we need. The truth with the lies. <sighs> yeah, maybe that's what I need to do. I need to uh, take a constitutional and uh, <laughs> write better lyrics. <laughs> All right, let's just try this, eh? Let's give this a crack All right. So we need, we need a second Vox lead track here because we need to um, flip this around. Beginning anew, you know that it's all up to you to rise again. Life is a journey we all must face. We can't replace. Truth without lies The mirror is not our reality Perspectives change It's not the same As you will see Confusion it reigns no matter what All right, stop, stop. <clears throat> Just push it out there. Give it a crack. All right, let's save that one out. I'm not sure that I love it, but that's okay. It's all experimental process. I'm writing a song about self-doubt and things whispering at you and lies and truth and looking in the mirror and I'm just like, whoa, talk about meta. A bloke in his own room singing to himself and trying to push past that form, that self-doubt that he has, that he's not good enough to do the thing he's doing. Have a drink. Thank you, Sylvie. Good, good reminder. Hydrate. Yes, thank you for the hydration. Uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, you got to get the arms into it. Oh, seriously. Oh, I, I know you, you're new around here, Conan, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> wait till song timber, mate. I'm on the floor, I'm kneeling, I'm singing, I'm leaning, crouching down. Yeah, it's, it, it all happens. When I get into my singing, it really happens. Uh, yeah, to rise again, to rise again, to rise again. I'm thinking of, like, <clears throat> yeah, the rise again is going to become the thing here, I reckon. Yep. You reckon? Cool. Yeah. I think I think we're I think we're getting there. Uh and can, can, can I just um can I just say another thing here? Uh we're gonna count this down. Uh ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's the first time in a week that a stream has lasted one hour without any hardware, software, or internet interruptions. The uh, whole thing just collapses. 
Oh, man. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's take ourselves a quick break, and then we will uh, finish up here by doing a quick bit of mixing. Uh, so you may be seeing an ad now, and uh, don't worry, I'll be back in just a jiffy, and we only play ads a maximum of every half an hour around here. But I've got to pay some bills. Yeah, I just sent my child on a camp this morning, and uh, yeah, it costs money. <laughs> <laughs> you pay for school and then they're like, would you like to pay for extra school? And you're like, um, not particularly. And they're like, too bad, sucker, here's a bill. Pay it or your child's that one kid that gets left in the classroom while everyone else goes to camp. And you're like, uh, oh, shit, okay, fair enough. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, yep, no, 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 no crashes, no, no problems at the moment. And uh, after this stream, I'm going straight down to the Vodafone store to sign up for their internet that um, has the 4G backup because um, I just have to get away. I have to, I have to stop suckling at the, at the internode teat, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> which is my current provider. All right, uh, let's let's do something here. Let's do this. I know, I know it never ends. Yeah, I know. It's, this is the cheap part. Well, no, it's probably... I think we've been... What, what, what I have to remind myself every day, just like when I remind myself that this is my job, I don't have to work in an office and I don't have a boss and all that sign of jazz. That's a good thing. And it's the same with the cost. Like I think back to when I was working full-time, my wife was working full-time and we had children in two children in childcare three days a week. That was costing a fortune. Anyway, this is not the uh, Budgeting with John show. This is the Garage Band Weekly show. You know what I'm going to do here? <clears throat> I'm going to save out. Uh, I'll keep doing it on fire. No, we'll, we'll stuff it. <laughs> we'll go with another one. We'll duplicate this out. <clears throat> and we will go into six. And I'm going to do a, uh, I'm gonna do a faders down mix on this sucker. I'm going to get this to the point where I can take it for a listen. Because it's obviously not done. It's nowhere near done. But at this point, I kind of like this. Well, this is the demo, right? We're, we're, we're at like demo level. So I'm going to throw everything down. There's all my tracks. So we've got the original uh, tracks that was provided there. We've got my little guitar intro there, which I can expand and maybe do some lead guitar later in as well. We've got our little oohs and ahs here. And then we've got our lead vocal. And the reason it's on two tracks is it's got a crossover here between there and there. So... <clears throat> Let's um, get our drums and we'll, we'll reorder these. Oh, no, we can't because I've got the piano at the top there. So let's get our drums and our bass in here to start with. We'll go into the chorus section to do this and uh, let's uh, do a fader down mix. Thank you, Thomas Christ. Yeah, donations always appreciated. Never expected. Really cool drums that... Um All right. So I reckon I normally use a quarter note echo as my master effect here. I like to put a little tiny bit of echo on drums. And this needs, uh, in terms of reverb, this needs like a cathedral, doesn't it, for its reverb. It needs a really sort of big space reverb. So let's um, put those in here. Bring our bass in. Orchestra. Back to the chorus. I think the gongs need to be loud, don't they? Now, where's this synth play? Oh, it's because it's zero volume. Oh, this is panned right. Does that mean this is panned? Oh, that's got a bit of left lean. These are cool synth sounds.
How good is this? David Asher makes great stuff. Because it's like, it's an orchestral song. Very cool. Let's put a little reverb on this piano. And lots on the... On the um, this is this is only placeholder stuff, by the way, folks. Don't freak out that I'm like slap dashing this. So just to get a demo that's going to sound kind of cool. A little bit on the synth sounds, not so much. Just to bring it into the same space. So I'm bringing our guitar sound at the front here. Here's some kind of feedback on the gong. It is a bit of a different kind of gong sample. Um, let's just play it. I've done this stupid thing where I've soloed every track instead of muting the ones I don't want. <laughs> uh, Yeah, it's a really it's a really different kind of sort of one. Yeah, uh, this is iPad Garage Band, indeed. Welcome aboard, uh, Froggy Prod, uh, Froggy Prod. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let us bring in my little oohs and ahs here at the start. Du -du -du -du. Yeah. 
What do you reckon? I think we've made some pretty decent progress from where we started. Remember where we started from was uh, here where we had some do-do-do's and da-da-da's and some very basic vague ideas in uh, right on an hour. We've uh, we've developed it into what I would say is a workable demo uh, of this song. So uh, I'm reasonably impressed with myself. <laughs> All that self-doubt I was singing about, not quite so doubtful. Um, yeah, so what, what I'll do from here is I take this with me on the road. I head out for a walk shortly and uh, I take this with me on the road again and uh, we'll go and we'll, uh, we'll take a listen and see what works and what doesn't work and, and just play around with it. And um, I, what I normally do is use my wired headphones and like sing in some. So for the backing vocals, I'll just sing in back. And this is why I, I know I broke a record on this stuff, but this is why Garage Band is cool because I can throw this directly. Like I'll save this. And the second I save it here, it goes straight into my iCloud drive. Like it sits there. And once that's completely saved, it's here. Like I can walk outside and go download that entire track. And the whole thing is on this phone ready for me to, um, ready for me to complete, which is cool. Um, <laughs> sorry, we, that, that thing where you get sidetracked by an email, someone tried to, um, uh, replace my, uh, Facebook password last night, but guess what people two factor authentication, baby. Yeah. So people see my email address on different videos and they're like, oh, I reckon he might use that for Facebook. And I do. And then they're like, oh, oh, oh I'm going to go in and request it. Uh, oh, two factor authentication. Gotcha. So yeah, use two factor authentication people. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, Froggy Prod. Uh, thank you to Mark and thank you to Tom. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, uh, please go ahead and uh, just throw a cue in front of your question right now. I'll be here for about another five minutes just while we wrap things up. And then uh, we're going to, I'm going to take my leave and uh, go out for a walk. Uh, Metalhead Hippies uh, playing right now. If you're, if you're looking for some music stuff, uh, which is, I guess, the good part of doing it today is I'm not overlapping with uh, with Hippie, so you can go and check him out. I've just thrown a, a link there down in uh, the chat here. So if you'd like to go and uh, check out The Hippie, don't forget you can go there too, to uh, that place, which is uh, the Garage Band I-O-S-F-A-Q. So if you're curious, if you're Garage Band curious and you want to learn all the Garage Band stuff, you can go ahead and do it there. I'm just making sure that uh, we're going to send you off to the next show, which is going to be your music live because tomorrow is episode 199 of your music live which means that next week we got a big one we got the big 100 the big 100 uh, episode 100 of garage band weekly no the other one your music live see i told you i shouldn't do a show more than an hour long so we've got your music live episode 200 it's going to be a big one uh we're going to go back in time and and listen to some classic tunes maybe some stuff from like the very first episode and we'll talk a little bit about how your music live came about if you're new to the channel and you're new to uh, the show your music live is our weekly independent music show so if you're an indie artist or you just love listening to a bunch of of really cool independent artists, you can check that one out. Uh, you do do do, you do 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 da. Goodbye, goodbye. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Thomas Christ, our wonderful moderator. Thanks, Conan Drum Band. I appreciate you being here. And uh, yeah, if you want more, uh, jump over to the Metalhead Hippie. Go over there right now and tell him that I said. I sent you there and say g'day. Say Pete says hi. I'll go and drop in there now as well and say hello to the folks listening to music over there. Uh, yeah, two hundos. Pretty cool. Uh, thank you, Sylvie, for hanging out too. Thank you, everyone, for your help. A lot of you. I'm going to have to put songwriting credits on uh, on this for you folks because uh, I, I captured and stole some of your ideas as well. But we got ourselves a couple of verses. I'll keep workshopping these uh, over the next week and we will return because next week, yeah, we're going to be continuing. We're going to be doing more recording and uh, hopefully take this from demo to completed song. It's kind of fun doing this every week. I get to come back to it, take a little break 
and then uh, redo it. Uh, thank you uh, to Joe and Barry Glenn as well. Thank you, Joel, for being here. Thank you, everybody. Weary Pirates, ahoy there, me matey. And uh, I'll see you next time. As we say at the end of each and every show around here, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, keep creating, and I'll see you next time right here on Garage Band Weekly. Bye for now.